Okay, so in this uh, lecture, we are going to study more about onto functions. So we will first define uh, what is a onto function, and then we will solve some problems of how to check whether a function is onto function or not. So let uh, f be defined on the set A to be be a function. then f is set to be on to if every element in the codomain who is the codomain the codomain is b if every element in the codomain has a pre image in the domain who is the domain of this function the domain of this function is a okay has pre-image in the domain a. now how many pre-image you may have you may have more than one pre-images okay it is not that every element must have only one pre-image any element in the core domain may have more than one pre-image it is nothing said in the definition that it must have one pre-image okay it's nothing like that so pictorically if this is the domain a and this is the codomain b and f is a function which is from a to b okay this all of us know is called as domain and this b is called as what it is called as a codomain so if i take any element here that element i'm going to call beta okay so this beta is an element in the codomain this beta must have a pre-image alpha in the domain set that is what i mean to say is that if beta belongs to b who is b the set b is codomain see i'm writing the definition now in mathematical words okay if beta is in the codomain then there exists an alpha where is alpha alpha is in the set a which is called as domain such that f of alpha is equal to beta okay so this is considered to be the mathematical definition of the onto function of an onto function okay so this mathematical definition this is going to help us in solving the problems so i will repeat the definition you will take beta belonging to the codomain for this beta we will find a alpha which is called as a pre-image in the domain set such that what should happen the image of alpha when i take the image of alpha means f of alpha the image of alpha is called f of alpha that f of alpha and beta must be the same that is f of alpha must be equal to beta okay now we will use this definition to solve our problems so let me start with the first problem so let f be defined on the set r plus all of you know what is r plus r plus is set of all positive real numbers to r so f is defined on r plus to r as f of x is equal to log x to the base 10 okay this is the function that i'm defining show that f is on 2 
So what I will do is now I have the domain set is the set of all positive real numbers. So I will show that in picture like this R plus zero is not there. OK, in the positive real number zero is not there. So all these are positive real numbers 1, 1 1.5, 1.6, 1 1.7 and 2, 3, 4. All these numbers are positive real numbers. OK, we want to define a function from this set. A, a function is F and it is going into what it, the codomain I'm drawing is like this. The codomain is a complete real line. OK, so it contains all positive numbers. It contains all negative numbers, everything it contains. OK, so this is the set of all real numbers. And what is this function? The function is log x to the base 10. OK, now what is uh, if I want to show that a function is on to how will I show that the function is on to for showing the function is on to you have to take a beta in the you have to take a beta in the codomain. So I will take any beta in the codomain. So here I'm showing this as a beta. This beta is an element of the codomain. I hope this is clear to all of you that this R plus is the domain and this uh, real line on the right hand side is what this is the codomain. OK, so we will take a beta in the codomain. So let beta belong to the real line, which is codomain. OK, to find alpha. Now I want to find a pre image alpha. This alpha should be an element of the domain to find alpha belonging to R plus. What is R plus? R plus means domain. To find alpha belonging to the domain such that. Such that F of alpha must be equal to how much F of alpha must be beta. OK, now we will use this equation F of alpha equal to beta and find the value of alpha who is given to us. Beta is given to us. OK, so remember that beta is known to us and we want to find what we want to find alpha. So what is F of alpha? Now, when you look at the function, the function F of X is equal to how much the function F of X is equal to log X to the base 10. So this is F of X. So what is F of alpha? If I just replace X by alpha, what will I get? What is F of alpha? F of alpha will be log alpha to the base 10. OK, so here the next step I will write log alpha to the base 10 is equal to how much is equal to beta. OK. And this means that. This means that 10 raised to beta. Is equal to alpha. This means that 10 raised to beta is equal to alpha. I hope all of you know this that if I have log a to the base b is equal to c, then the meaning of this is what? What is the meaning of this? The meaning of this is that b raised to c is equal to how much? b raised to c is equal to a. Okay, this is the meaning of log a to the base b is equal to c. So log alpha to the base 10 is equal to beta means what? 10 raised to beta will be equal to how much? Will be equal to alpha. So we have found out the value of alpha. We were having the value of beta with us and now we have found out the value of alpha. Okay, so this means that this function f is on to because we could find the value of alpha so we can find alpha by using this formula what is the how will i find the value of alpha i will write the value of alpha is 10 raised to beta so we can find alpha hence the function f is on to function okay let us do one more problem of an onto function. 
So example, let me write a question. Let f be a function defined on a real line to r plus. What is r plus? r plus is all positive real numbers. And what am I going to define? The function that I'm going to define is f of x equal to e raised to x. Okay, I want to show that f is on 2. So how will I show this function is on 2? Let me draw a small picture here. So the domain is real line. And the codomain is R plus. So this is your real line which contains all positive negative numbers. Infinite set and the function is defined from the real line to positive real numbers. So positive real numbers I'm going to omit zero. And I have all these positive numbers. This is R plus. Okay. The numbers between 1 and 2, the numbers between 0 and 1, all are now our all are taken into consideration. Okay. No, only 1, 2, 3, 4 are not the elements of real numbers. So they are integers. So all numbers, any number here, suppose it is 1.5, that is also a positive real number. Okay. All numbers from 0 onwards. You don't have to take 0. Okay, because 0 is not a positive real number. 0 is neither a negative number. So now we will show that this function f, what is the function f? The function f is a, a function f is f of x equal to e power x. We want to show that this function is a onto function. So I will, by definition, I will choose a beta. I will choose a beta which is belonging to the codomain. So let beta belong to the codomain. Who is my codomain? My codomain is R plus. This means beta is which type of number? Beta is a positive real number. Okay. So beta belong to R plus means a means its codomain. What I want to do, I want to find the alpha. I want to find the alpha. Where I want to find this alpha? I want to find the alpha in the domain set. Right means I want to find alpha belonging to real numbers. I want to find alpha somewhere here. So alpha belongs to R, which is domain set. Such that how this alpha should be found such that this f of alpha value of f of alpha must come exactly equal to how much must exactly come to be beta means this alpha under this function must map to beta okay so this is f of alpha so f of alpha and beta must be the same we want to find such a alpha in the set of real numbers now how will you find that alpha so you start solving this particular equation f of alpha is equal to beta how will i solve f of alpha equal to beta go to the function and see what is f of x equal to f of x is given us to be equal to how much f of x is equal to e raised to x so what will be f of alpha just replace x by alpha so if f of x is equal to e raised to x f of alpha will become e raised to alpha so in the next line i will write e raised to alpha equal to beta from this equation remember what we want to find we want to find what is alpha equal to what is alpha equal to so so how will i find what the value of alpha from this equation e raised to alpha equal to beta i will take logarithm on both the sides so log of e raised to alpha to the base e is equal to log of beta to the base e and this expression is alpha multiplied by log of e to the base e is equal to log of beta to the base e. 
and what is logarithm of e to the base e it is 1 so this is alpha multiplied by 1 is equal to log of beta to the base e and this means that the value of alpha will finally come up to be how much log beta to the base e so we have found out the value of alpha so alpha so given beta beta was given to us we can find the value of alpha what is that value of alpha log beta to the base e this means the function f is which type of function the function f is a onto function okay this is the way you try to show that the function is onto function 